What happens when forces are balanced? Well, before we can answer that, let's just uh, do a quick refresher. What does that even mean, balanced forces? All right, so whenever we have balanced forces, what that means is that the net force is zero. So here you have five and five are going opposite directions. So you would subtract five minus five is zero. That's balanced force. Here you have five and 10 going opposite directions. So that would be 10 minus five. So your net force would be five newtons to the left. That would not be a balanced force. Balanced force is when the net force is zero. So what happens when the forces are balanced, when we have balanced forces? Easiest thing we're gonna learn all year. What happens when you have balanced forces? Nothing, nothing happens. It stays exactly the same. But let's make that a little bit more scientific. So my class rule, in my class, every time I say the words balanced force, I give my class complete permission to interrupt me and to yell over me constant speed. Constant speed means that whatever speed it's going, whatever speed this object is going, it's going to keep doing that same speed. So basically, if you have balanced forces, nothing changes. If it's going 100 kilometers per hour, it stays going 100 kilometers per hour. Now the thing about this rule, I say balance force a lot when we're going through the physics unit. And then I forget. And it gets annoying because my class does not forget. And they there's always that one student in every class. And I'm like, all right, the answer here is balance force. And they scream out over me. And I want to get mad. I'm like, stop talking over me. But it's my rule. And they like that they can annoy me. So whenever I say balance force, what that really means is constant speed. Now, if we talk to a physicist, this is Newton's first law. If we want to get all technical about it, it says, if the forces acting on an object are balanced, the object will not speed up or slow down. The object will not change direction. This word right here will not speed up or slow down, so it's not going to change its speed, and it's not going to change its direction. That is what accelerate means. Accelerate is a change in speed or direction. So if we're saying it's not going to speed up and it's not going to change direction, we're saying it's not going to accelerate. So whenever you have balanced forces, the object is not going to accelerate. Now here's where it can trick a lot of students. The question is, if you have balanced forces, and we have balanced forces, is the object moving? Okay, here we have a rock. Right, rock right there. Rock's just sitting there. Is the rock moving? No. Are the forces on it balanced? Are there balanced forces? Yes, you have gravity pushing down, and then you have the force of the ground pushing back up. The rock is not moving. So anytime you see anything sitting there, coffee cup on the table or the desk on the floor, anything that's just sitting there, those are balanced forces. Its speed is constant. What is its speed? zero kilometers per hour or meters per second. It's not moving. It's zero. It is not moving. Balance forces. But you could also have a situation where this guy is skydiving and if the forces are balanced, right? But you can say, wait, how's, how are the forces balanced? Because there's the force of gravity. There is, and he's falling down and he's getting faster and faster and faster. But as he falls down, the force of the air hitting him starts to push back up. And eventually you're going to get to the point where the air resistance pushing back up equals the force of gravity coming back down. We call that terminal velocity. He's going as fast as he can go. The forces are balanced. Is he moving? Yes, he is definitely moving. You know, he may be going 100 kilometers per hour, but he's not going faster. He's not going slower and he's not changing direction. All right. So those balanced forces means he's not accelerating. He is staying exactly the same and he will keep going 100 kilometers per hour until he changes those forces. And if he puts a parachute out, poop, right now you're going to increase the amount of air resistance because hitting the parachute and now we have an unbalanced force. He's going to change his speed. He's going to slow down. In summary, if the net force is zero, then the forces are balanced. You have balanced forces. Balanced forces equals constant speed. If you take anything away from this, balanced forces means constant speed. When the forces are balanced, the object will not speed up, slow down, or change direction. 
Another way to say that is an object, when the forces are balanced, an object will not accelerate, because accelerating means to speed up, slow down, or change direction. Balanced forces, constant speed. Balanced forces means an object is not accelerating.